Hello, and welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. Uh, it's been a it's been a week since I've recorded. I uh, I'm still getting over the nastiest head cold that I have um, had in easily the last ten years, uh, and then it ended up sweeping through my my whole family. I'd mentioned in a recent video. Um, we had just got back from a trip, and on that trip I picked up a nasty bug and brought it home, and just been really ill, so, I'm, <laughs> I may not sound excited, but trust me, I'm very excited to be here, <laughs> to be able to record again, and to have a little bit of mental capacity. Um, so we're gonna, if you remember, we're gonna... In the last episode, we, we did a, a little detour from the campaign. We did a little Earth adventure, and today we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little Rom adventure. Um, I believe in the campaign we're right at the end of Rom. I think the next part, I think the next part, we'll end up going to the next uh, world area. So here we are. Um, Rom Adventure. Hopefully we get some dungeons and or bosses and or goodies that we haven't seen yet. I'd love to uh, get my hands on a, a new weapon or two. Speaking of which, actually, we, um, we picked up the Spore Bloom in the last episode. And we played a little bit with the Defiler in the, the last episode. And we'll, we'll come back to that. But, um... Since the Spore Bloom is more of like a single shot, like a, I don't know what is like a shotgun maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's got a pretty short range. It's more like a shotgun, so we'll, we'll keep something automatic on my offhand just so I have different tools at my disposal. Let's see a green shiny. I'm gonna be real rusty. I mean, I'm not terribly good anyways, but I would expect uh, some extra fumble fingers here today as I, uh... Ow, what the? Oh, that spear was sticking right out of me. Whoa! Settle down, guy. Okay. So mainly I'm just looking for like a the purple shiny, hopefully. Oh what is the Oh no way Huge a Simulacrum, let's go. That's a That was a sneaky little gift. Thank you kindly. Yeah, so we didn't find a simulacrum in the Earth Adventure. And um, actually, after that, I even kind of looked up like what the adventures consist of. Apologies for that. Um, had a little coughing fit there. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, I uh, looked up what the adventures consist of, and it, and it, and it essentially said uh, you're gonna get like one dungeon, like one world event, and. Uh, one let one world boss so the world event will be over here by the main checkpoint and the last one we have the uh, I don't know the uh, the platforming where you, you, there was like a the, you had to find where the Yep, we can run the wrong side of that. You had to find where the up, down, left, right stuff was hidden. I took a little photo of it, and then and then we had to go over to the to the little uh, platforms or uh, sidewalk, whatever that that kind of the plates that would go down that you would walk on them. You had to walk. You had to activate them in order. No purple shiny yet. But that simulacrum's huge. What am I doing wrong here? Wrong buttons. There we go. So we haven't checked out the cool ability for the spore bloom yet. Leet. 
Oh, oh, you chilly dog, you. Ugh. Shoot him in the kneecap. He doesn't like that. Let's try out the special. Um, heal, please. Ugh, that was... Okay, love to just panic roll a few times and get a heal. Dude, bro, please. And okay, there you go. That's not how you kill that guy, apparently. But that's okay gonna run back right over there and keep going maybe we'll uh, find a purple that I missed along the way and that death will provide some value so I need to look and see what that so this single shot of the spore bloom that's that's tough for me I'm not a fan of one shot but Let's see, what was the special thing? Fires an explosive round that deals 25 rot damage within 3 meters. Oh, lasts for 7 seconds. Okay. Purples or blues, purples or blues. I don't see purple or blue. Just run up here real quick, just take a little peek. Nothing to peek. Okay. Oh, it's got like a bubble. And then it puts down like a little rot. Yeah, like a rot AO. Okay. Well, that'll be good for bosses or... Elites, if you can get it right on top of them. Okay. And this is made it this far, and this is this is where we died over here. Okay. Purples or blues. Speaking of blues, I think we got quite a few trait points from that last episode. It's been so long. Uh oh, two elites. I don't recall if I uh. I don't recall if I used them or not, so we'll have to take a peek at that. Okay. Not even sure what hit me, but... Another spear. I'm gonna try and get into this little room here and get a heal. Okay, he does not like fire, that's good. Luminite crystal? Nope. Bummer. Apologize for the uh, the nasally, but this cold is <laughs> this cold has kicked my butt more than Elden Ring did. Actually, that's probably not true. Elden Ring destroyed me. Oh, that flamethrower is mean, boys. We love that flamethrower. Yeah, I got the Spitfire on my first playthrough as well, and I really enjoy playing with it. I used it off and on through the whole playthrough. What a jerk. What was that? And now you're gonna run? Huh? What? He's not dead? Oh, he was an elite. Okay, sneaky. I need to heal. He's a sneaky boy. Okay. Hopefully I can record a couple episodes today. Luminite Crystal, let's go, nice. We need like a billion of those. I'd like to record quite a few today if I can. This isn't going too bad. 
Still kind of loopy and groggy and nasally and goofy and weird, but whatever. Yeah, I couldn't even, I couldn't even play games the last couple days. I mean, not so much yesterday. I was starting to feel a little bit better, but man, I... I don't I'm not I'm not a sleeper. I'm kind of weird. I'm a morning person. I actually am like I'm pretty awesome at like 6:30 a.m. but like 8 p.m. I'm I'm I got nothing left in the tank. 8:30 p.m. I'm like it's time for bed. I uh I'm a very very old man in a middle-aged man's body. I, I enjoy my morning coffee and getting up with the sun and that's that's when I'm at my best is in the morning. I've never really been much of a sleeper when to sleep in. And I say that because, man, did I sleep this last week. I went to bed, I think, like 5 p.m. one night. And, you know, I woke up a couple of times throughout the night. But, man, I just slept and slept and slept. My body was in dire need of rest. Well, I didn't see the purple. I mean, there's more to the open area. So there's no guarantee it was over there. Um, don't really want to run back through there just to kind of keep the thing moving. So if I miss the purple, so be it. Maybe we'll get lucky and find it elsewhere. Regardless, I got that sneaky simulacrum. You know, I didn't grab that checkpoint over there. No, wait, I couldn't get in. That's right. The door was locked. I'll probably do a dungeon over here. Oh, what do you know? Dungeon. Now, if this is the Citadel's Curse one, I might just re-roll the whole adventure. And then... Because I, I really don't want to just do the exact same one I already did. I, I want to do these to try and see different things. It is not safe. So those trait points that I was talking about, we got quite a few, I think, in the last episode when we did our adventure. Oh, we're sitting on 10. Yeah, it's time to... I like stamina regen. Too situational. Yeah, right. I'm just not a good enough shot. I think that would just be a waste. I'd get more bang for buck elsewhere. Sure. Six left. Let's pump some bigger. Well, that's kind of nice. So, you know, you can sneak up. Um, armor's never bad. One more point. What do we want to do? Reload speed. Why not? Okay. What we got here? Did it say the name of the dungeon? Ah, okay, well, whatever. Shackled Canyon. I mean, this feels very familiar as, like, as far as, like, the layout is very similar to what we had in the campaign. So I'm not... I'm not going to worry about fully clearing this out. I'm just going to try and find the purple if I can. You know, kill the elites along the way, what have you. You're a big ugly. Okay, they're just they're just being jerks at this point. Glowing rod. I know what that's for. Um, something that I, I also did read, um, about the adventures. So, what the... I'm 
don't think I've ever seen that guy before. Dropped us a Luminite. Oof. Oof. Um, really missing my hunting rifle right about now, but that's okay. We've pretty much used it the whole playthrough so far, so we'll continue to play with this for a little bit. Just to mix it up. If I get really stuck like on a like, like a boss, I'll probably go back to weapons that are familiar, weapons that I feel comfortable with. But when we're just kind of running around goofing, I want to mix it up where I can. Just because there's so many freaking cool weapons in this game. Dare I even say almost like... Yeah, no, I don't, yeah. I don't know the proper way to put it. I'm a sucker for Ratchet and Clank. Like, all the different crazy guns you get, you know, turning things into ducks or chickens or... I, man, I, I love Ratchet and Clank. Um, played most of them up until probably about five years ago. Um, haven't kept up with console and Ratchet and Clank's a PlayStation exclusive to the best of my knowledge. So I haven't played any like Ratchet and Clank's in the last couple of years, but but pretty much all of the Ratchet and Clank's at least up through PS3, and probably even like anything that launched PS4, I would have played, but haven't haven't kept Oop, purple. Oop. Um so I see you, big boy. How do you like that? Well, he's not even in it. So, that didn't work. Wow. Flamethrower versus rocket launcher. Man, this... I love this game. I... I sure hope they're making a second one. I, just, I, I think it's a very well done Souls-like. And I'm playing on normal. I'm not playing on ultra hard or anything crazy oh. like that. I don't. It's over. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a god gamer. I don't need. 17 extra challenges to make it hard. Band of Strength. I thought we already had that. Oh, we did. So it gave us scrap. Okay. A little unlucky that it rolled something we already had. But, um... You know, what can you do? We take it in a stride. Okay. Well, I got the purple... So, you know, I'm just going to try and run through to get to the end. Hopefully it's... If it's the same boss, I'll be super disappointed. Does it have to be the same dungeon boss? I don't know. I feel like this is the same dungeon. And I wonder if that's why it was the same item. Hmm. <laughs> We're almost at the end. Don't do something stupid. Don't do something stupid. Please don't be Rays. Please don't be Rays. Ah, that fight was not even fun. Too hectic. Boss wall. Oh, man.
Well, that's very disappointing. Only because we just we already did this, so like, hmm. have no motivation for this fight. Um, I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna re-roll the adventure. I'm, I just there's nothing about this that, that it's, I want something different. So we're just gonna just gonna die. And to spare you, I will be back with you folks once I get to the dungeon of the reroll adventure. Um, I'll be right back with you folks. If there's anything cool along the way, I'll, I'll be back with you. So I rerolled an adventure, um, the ROM adventure. I ran through for not that long. I've only been on this adventure for maybe three minutes and I just came upon this dungeon. Please don't be the Citadel one. I feel like this looks different than the Citadel one. The cursed one that we did. The Iron Rift. Yeah, this is different. Okay. Good deal. Um, something else I noticed. I, 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 this isn't upgraded, so it... In, in all reality, I don't, I don't think it does, like, maybe as much damage as it really could slash should, but... We're gonna keep playing with it for a little bit. I should have switched before. I should have hit the checkpoint. Because I lost my weapon mods whenever you do that. The, the charge is on them. And again, I'm, I'm just gonna try and run through this as fast as I can, sort of, you know. You know, in quotation marks. I'm not, like, speed running it, per se, but... I don't wanna worry about every little enemy, every little item. Just trying to get the, the bigger goodies where we can. I feel like maybe I'm aggroing too much stuff. Is that an elite? I guess not. Maybe he didn't die. No, he's dead. Got a trade point, nice. I'm not a fan of these skeletons. <laughs> I should go slower and find all the goodies, but for the most part, we've been pretty lucky with finding stuff, even though we've tried to progress fairly quickly. I know one of the videos I went batch and I was watching it as I was uploading and noticed that like I ran like right past the chest and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like sitting there talking about... Just trying to get the, the bigger stuff as I run right past a chest. What the frick is going on? Oh, it's that dude. The mage. was terrible, I agree. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, but man, am I happy to... Huh. I'm happy to be back. No Luminite from that guy. Okay. I mean, maybe you'd just be like swimming in them if it was guaranteed drop, but right now I feel like I'm starving for Luminites.
kind of wish the Luminites were guaranteed from the elites, but the devs, they probably know better. Like I said, and, and like, they really want you to just farm and do these adventures. The way the game's set up, there's so much stuff you'll miss. Blue. Uh-oh, I need a heal. I'm not very good at keeping an eye on that. I need to pay more attention. I get... What was that? I just did like a step. How did I do that? Oh, wait a second. Ah. Uh, nope, no, 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 no. Throw a heal, we're towards the end. Um, oh, we don't have a charge up, dang it. Now we got our charge. Sit in that. Kind of just want to see if that'll take him down. No. I had a hard time really seeing how much damage it was doing. I mean, I saw the the numbers popping up, but I couldn't really see his health bar. I couldn't really see like how much that. Little AoE was doing to him. Okay, we're almost at the end here. Definitely should be something different. A boss or some sort of encounter. Oh, it's over. I mean, this room looks like exactly like the room we started in. The hive. The hive. Does that ring a bell to me? I don't recall. We'll see when we get in there if I recognize the boss. Um, we'll try it with the spore bloom just for, you know, for fun. If I struggle, I might go to the hunting rifle because the hunting rifle is at least upgraded. Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's that ugly guy, but a mini boss version. Okay. Um, and he's got regenerator, which is health regen, to the best of my knowledge. How about you sit in that for a minute? All oh, the ads, boys. The ads. How do you like flamethrower? Okay. Just like to keep some distance. Ah. That was weird. Did he kill that thing, or...? Sit in that for a minute. Nope. No! Come on, heal. Please. Nice. Just trying to get some space. Almost have a charge up on my Spore Bloom. Ugh. Grab some ammo, why not? Ugh. I looked up what radiation does, but now I don't remember. It's been a week. I think it was like, maybe it took my stamina half away or something, or...
But we don't have full build up yet. It's just building up. And we haven't actually been afflicted. Sitting that. A little flamethrower action, maybe. We sneaky sneaky. Wow, that was dumb. Grab some ammo, get some space. I mean, for having one bullet, that really should be killing those little guys in one shot. I don't know if my aim's just that trash, or if it's because it's just it's level zero. It hasn't been upgraded at all. And this is roll gear score six, as far as, like, the adventure goes. Okay. I'm we'll charge up. Heal. Flamethrower time. Um, I'm irradiated. So yeah, it looks like half stamina or something. Yep, stamina's really low. Yeah, we're just kind of having fun with it. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. We're not... We could probably engage the boss a whole lot more. We're just kind of having fun with it. Charges up. Can I get it off? Nice. I'm not even sure how much damage that's really doing to him. I may have missed him. Okay. Was doing good, and now we're... Flamethrower. Burn him down. He's burning. Times three. That may be the end of him. That just might be the end of him. Oh, he's regenerating, and I'm slow playing. Okay. I get her. I get her. Brain actually just worked for 10 seconds. A little more flamethrower. Have a nice day, sir. And what do we get for our efforts? Radioactive Skull. Weapon mod of some sort? Okay, cool. Something new anyways. We hadn't fought the mini-boss version of him on this playthrough. Why is it saying exit that way? Well, obviously it's saying because that's the exit, but... I saw the little red thing over there, but that's probably where I came in. And again, remember, I re-rolled the adventure, so... Um, I haven't even seen the... Uh, the main central checkpoint for this adventure, because I just ran off in one direction and ran right into this. Yeah, I see. You can see I just ran straight up there, and there it was. Um, I'm going to throw this on for now, the hunting rifle. Okay, this is our central checkpoint for the adventure, it looks like. So there should be one world event and then a world boss. Um, we fought 
the big claw guy. Wait, well, there's a guy over here. So this is our event. So it's the merchant again. Still haven't been able to figure out what this action is, but I assume I need something. Oh, welcome. I... <laughs> you. Yeah, we've already so... done all this. Um, let's see if he has anything for sale. Sure. Yeah, so he is not selling the armor to me, but he is in the campaign, so yeah. That's what I thought. I thought the first time I saw him, he wasn't selling it. Do return safely. Are you after information? I have a chance. So we started that way. We came up that way, and then it brought us this way. And now we can go down this way. But we could have gone down this way to start. Okay. I'm just going to run through this real quick and I'll catch you guys at the, the dungeon room, whatever. So you can see at the map, which kind of ran through, and here we are at, at another little dungeon thing here. So let's check this out and see what it is. Another dungeon of some sort, it looks like. Concourse of the Sun. Doesn't specifically ring a bell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the hunting rifle for now. Why not? Whatever. Can switch it back, but. Of course, the spore bloom would be good with all the tight corners in here. A little shotgun action. I didn't find anything of it value when I was running through that area into this dungeon. Um, there was just some enemies. I didn't find any shinies at all, so just kind of ran over here and found this dungeon. Is that where I just came in? It sure is. Okay. So we need to go left and then north. So let's go this way. And then keep going that way. He's angry. I don't even know where they're coming from. It's, it's like... All sorts of little... Jesus! Was, I think they were having like a... A meeting, or did I... Maybe this is their break room or something? I just stumbled upon lunchtime? I don't know what the hell just happened, but... They all were very upset to see me. Should probably heal while I'm looking at it. Nice long corridor. What the? Oh, it's Raze. Burning three, get that off. You can get burning off via consumable, but you can also just roll like a bunch and it gets burning off. Which is cool that the devs took that into consideration. Stop, drop, and roll. Well, 
Okay, you guys are just starting to upset me. And I canceled my own reload. Or did I? That was weird. Oh. Luminite crystal, we'll take it. See if there's any items, sneaky sneaky. I don't see anything. Here's something walking. Chest. No purple or blue. He does not like fire. Want to jump off? There we go. Well, I feel like I've missed the purple. I wonder if there's like a rhyme or reason to like where the purples are in these dungeons, like always near the front, always near their back. Oh, uh, it's over. Well, look at that. Look at that. You complain and then you get lucky. Something new? That sounds new. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten this. Eslin's Band. Oh, we still got our little XP ring on. That's, you know, just farming ring, whatever. Eslin's, man. Increases health by 25 and adds some health regeneration? Um, thank you, Eslin. You are now my boy. Eslin is now my boy. I mean, that's not a lot of health, but, you know, a little bit of sneaky health. We'll take it. I mean, the, the health regeneration doesn't seem like a whole lot, but, I mean, it is souls-like. What are you going to do? I think there's a regeneration set actually. Oh, boss. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Now I don't know. So we already had a dungeon boss. So my assumption is this is going to be a world boss. There's a couple of world bosses for each zone. The Lost Gantry. So my assumption is this is going to be a world boss. But I, I could be mistaken. Okay, I'm definitely mistaken. Well... I shouldn't say that yet, but it doesn't appear to be a world boss yet. Actually, I have no idea what the hell's happening, so... I'm a little nervous, to be honest. 
Okay, I'm getting even more nervous. I have no idea what the hell's happening. Um, I would have thought this was a boss. Okay. Sure. Piss something off. A door opening to nothing. Interesting. Okay. Something doesn't look like it. I don't know what the heck's going on. There's no boss, I'm confused. Probably supposed to be doing something. Maybe I should go check out the door. This enemy spawned right on top of me and I got scared. Well, it's like a door that opened, but there's another door behind it, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh my goodness, it's those guys too. What is... Let's throw a heal. Just trying to... You know, enemies can come from lots of ways, so I'm just trying to keep a wall behind me if I can. So at least my back's covered. Oof, three hits, that's that's tough. I can aim better. What? I'm surprised he wasn't dead. Okay. Oof, that's some real rough shooting there. Just cause, I don't know, I'm scared. Okay, so yeah, those little explosions, I think that little explosion killed the other guy that wasn't dead. Like a little AoE that damages everything around it, not just me. That was weird. I wonder if that's what happened to that one enemy earlier when I was like, how did he die? Because I had killed one of those little explody guys by him. I didn't realize that those explosions hurt the enemies, too. Hot shot. Should be using all my tools. Whoa, okay. Both you boys are angry. He's less angry now that he's dead. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Has it been saying that? Am I that... Not, oh, I'm not paying any attention here. I feel embarrassed. It says, hold until the door opens. One remaining. Has it been saying that the whole time? Have I been running around going, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do? Like an idiot this whole time? How long has it said that? Oh, um, I hope it hasn't said that the whole time. <laughs> Did I mention I'm sick? Is this it? This could be it. I think this is the gun I got my first playthrough that changed the whole thing. This gun was so freaking fun. Is this where you get it though? I don't... Oh, it is. Thank God. This gun here. What? It came plus five? Oh, and it's not even a... That's right, it's not a boss weapon. So you can put mods on it. This gun is legit just so cool. I just love the beam. I feel like it's got great damage. 
I had so much fun with this gun, and, and we're going to have some fun with it together, hopefully. Okay, now what? I mean, weird, right? Typically there's like an exit or something. I'm gonna try and find the exit and I'll be back with you folks in a second. So nothing was obvious, so I just came back to the little checkpoint here. I'm just gonna go leave dungeon. And that should put us back out into the open world before we enter the dungeon. Because we're still like on the, the end of the dungeon, so that puts us all the way back at the beginning. So now I guess we're just going to run out and go south. So that's where that was two dungeons. Unless one of those was considered the world encounter. So I'm assuming the next thing we'll have will be a world boss of some sort. So I'm just going to run south until we get to the to the next door. And I'll, I'll be back with you folks whenever we get down there. Just running through here. Little little trait book action hi goodbye it's nice to know you okay i'm still running south i'll uh that looks like i'm at the end already okay here we go now again i'm assuming a lot of assumptions here because i'm not well versed but i believe now this should lead us to like a world boss encounter and hopefully it's not the one that we fought in, in our in the campaign version it's over of course, it could be a whole dungeon, then the boss. I'm not. And I, I threw a weapon mod on the uh, the beam rifle. We haven't used it yet. It's Rattleweed. Shoots a projectile that summons a Rattleweed upon impact. 300 health. Draws aggro. Oh. It just draws aggro. Oh. Well... Whatever. I mean, till we get something. Okay, we're right here. The bunker. Bunker, bunker, bunker. Was that the same one? I feel like this is the same one with the big claw dude. It is the big claw dude. Rip. We've already done this. Um. Well, this will be the end. This is the end of the ROM adventure. Um. Whatever. Um, that'll work for the ads, but that won't work for him. Man, the beam rifle's just so cool. Oh, you're backing up? Oh, I spoke too soon. Little flamethrower? He didn't like that. He doesn't like that. I mean, we've already done this fight. That doesn't mean that like I won't die or something. I just mean that like I don't think we're gonna see anything too cool. There might be a second way to kill this guy to get a secondary item or something, but I'm not gonna try and look it up at this exact moment. So we'll just we'll just do what we do and if we get something new, cool, if we don't, whatever. Can't win them all. Feeling like I should heal just because I have plenty of heals. And that guy has tons of damage if he gets on you. Okay, that was lame. I was hoping I'd hit him with that, but only on 11 left. Okay, I got a little bit of burn on him. I'm in a corner! This is not where we want to be, folks. This is where you go to die. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I forgot my lunch money at home. I'm out of here. Please, don't touch me. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. He doesn't like me, and I don't like him. And... Where'd you go, big boy? I'm 
just playing stupid now. I, sometimes I forget. I try and like hit fire. You can't hit fire. If you hit fire, it's melee. You have to aim to shoot. And in a lot of games, that's not true. You can just hit fire. And so sometimes when you see me meleeing, it's because of my my brain's thinking, "Oh, just hit fire." Oh, the beam rifle's a mean rifle. I love the beam rifle. Okay, well, he ran away. That's a bummer. Just gonna try and throw a little flamethrower on him. What is it, like another ad phase or something? Or. Flamethrower for the win. Sorry, sir. We've already killed you before. Nothing new. Okay. Well, it's over. that was interesting. Episode went a little long, but what can you do? Um, that's it for the round adventure. I'm gonna. I'll end up just quitting out on my own and whatnot. I'll head back to Ward 13 um, and jump back into the campaign and see you folks in the next episode. Um, Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.